Mr. Buffett and Mr. Munger. Hi. Hi. My name is Daphne. I'm 13 years old, and this is my sixth annual Berkshire Halfway Chan Shoulders meeting. And I've had the privilege to ask you both questions in years past. My question for you today is the following. As you know, the U.S. national debt is currently at an estimated $31 trillion, making up about 125% of the U.S. GDP. In the meantime, over the past few years, the Federal Reserve has telegraphed that they intend to monetize the debt by printing trillions of dollars, even as they insist that they're fighting inflation. Already, other major economies in the world, such as China, Saudi Arabia, and Brazil, are moving away from the dollar in anticipation of this. My question is, are we likely to face a time in the future when the U.S. dollar is no longer the global reserve currency? How is Berkshire prepared for this possibility? And what can we do as American citizens to attempt to shelter ourselves from what's beginning to look like the beginnings of de-dollarization? Well. I, I should ask you to come up here and answer some questions. I mean, <laughs> the, uh, it's very interesting. I mean, we are the reserve currency. And I see no option for any other currency to be the reserve currency. And, and uh, uh, I think that nobody understands the situation better than Jay Powell. And uh, uh, I, but he's not in control of, of fiscal policy. And every now and then he drops a few hints. Uh, and there was no question that, that when the, uh, when, 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 when the in pandemic broke out, I mean, it was a semi-warlike situation, but nobody knows how far you can go with the paper currency before it gets out of control. If, and particularly if you're the reserve, world's reserve currency, nobody knows the answer to that. And you don't want to try and pick out the point of where it does become a problem because then it's all over. Uh, and uh, I think we should be very careful. I mean, you know, we all learned Keynesianism and we applied it in World War II to the advantage of the country. And, and we did everything we could, we could to prevent inflation during the war. And then the war ended in August of 45, and I think in January 46, and I'm not giving you exact figures at all now, but in January 46, I think the rate of inflation was at, at you know, something like 1% or thereabouts. And by the end of the year, I think it was at like 15%. And again, I'm doing this from long memories. But, but it's, it's easy for America to do its... A lot. But if we do too much, it's very hard to see how you recover once you let the genie out of the bottle and people lose faith in the currency. And they behave in an entirely different manner than they do when they feel that if they put some money in the bank or have a pension plan or whatever it may be, that they're going to get out something with roughly equal purchasing power. And it just changes the economy, and all kinds of things can happen then. And I can't predict them, and nobody else can predict them, but I do know they aren't good. And uh, we will see. And I, I, I do this as, my, 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 you know, I, I, I voted for both parties, and um, it's, it's, uh, it, it's not limited to politicians of either party or anything of the sort. Uh, uh, People take positions. Some of them understand what they're doing. Some of them don't understand what they're doing. Uh, and, uh, you know, if they put me on some medical board, I don't understand what I'm doing. You know, it's not, it's, there's nothing wrong with the fact that you, that you can't master everything. You can, we can't all be Isaac Newton, but, but you can't go around pretending you do or making decisions on it. And, and we are not as well off in relation to 
curbing inflation expectations, which become self-fulfilling, uh, then we are not as well off as we were earlier. And Berkshire is better prepared than most investments for that kind of a period. But I said this in the annual report, but we aren't perfectly prepared because there's no, there's no way to perfectly prepare. You don't know what course of action will occur. And uh, it's a very political decision now. It's a tribal decision to some degree. Uh, and uh, you hope for leadership that, that uh, actually will do something, recognizes the problem, and America's an incredible society, rich. You know, every, we got everything going for us, but that doesn't mean we can just print money indefinitely but, uh, uh, as, as, as debt. And uh, uh, it'll be interesting to see how it turns out.